All right. Well, uh, have a bit of good news. Um, Andrew Poozder, this barrel of dildos here, uh, has officially withdrawn from the running to be our Secretary of Labor. Now, this is a good thing. Uh, this is definitely good news. Uh, you know, I'm glad that 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 is not going to be in charge of our depart of our labor department. But honestly, it's kind of mixed because I mean, honestly, it's Donald Trump who's doing the picking. So while it is good, don't get me wrong, it's very good that he that this particular bastard is not going to be Secretary of Labor, we are going to have another one proposed. And that really concerns me, because there's a very, I mean, knowing Trump and the, the, the picks he's made so far, there's absolutely no reason to believe that his next pick is going to be any better than this one in that role. So... Let me and let me kind of run. I'm just going to run through the reasons real quick that I feel this. This is a again. I hate to be a buzzkill, but I feel it's kind of a. Eh, it's a mixed bag as far as a victory, which Democrats are already ha hailing it as a victory. But hold your horses. Let's get into that real quick. First off, why did he withdraw, or why did he? Uh, well, let's go with that. Why did he withdraw? Well, he withdrew. He was told, it's, hey, it's not going to happen. Pull your name. Let's get one thing straight. In, like, next week, or probably later tonight, when uh, the, the freaking Republicans and Senate and government and the White House uh, are already start to say crap like, oh, well, he it was for personal reasons, or, well, he just, he, he wanted to, to go and spend more time with his family or something. No, it's all bullshit. All right, and, that, and that's what they'll say, but it's crap. He withdrew because he was not going to get confirmed. Because according to a story that CNN put out earlier today, uh, the Senate Republican, some Senate Republicans were actually calling on the White House to withdraw Pooster's name uh, from consideration because they had, uh, as CNN sources say, that there were at least four Republicans that were a firm no, or hell no, uh, for this guy's uh, confirmation, which basically already put him over the top for for yeah you know, the number of votes the number of no votes needed to to stop him. But on top of that, there were sort of rumblings of up to twelve more Republicans that were firm maybes. So with all of that going on, and the fact he hadn't even started technically his confirmation hearings yet, uh, yeah, he withdrew, or he was told to withdraw. Now, the reasons this does have me concerned, or the reason that this has concerns me, uh, and this is the part where I'm going to kind of play Debbie Downer, but I think it's it's important that it be said, is that this big old steamer here has a number of reasons why he is absolutely horrible and the worst, last person on earth you would want anywhere near the Department of Labor. Uh, and those include such winning uh, positions like being against a minimum wage uh, and publicly opposing uh, any raises to the minimum wage. Let's see. He he wants to automate, like fully automate his company, like his, his fast food restaurants. Uh, which again, kind of, kind of not a, a good position necessarily to have when you your job is bettering the the uh, bettering the condition or the the uh, the circumstance of workers. Being you know someone who wants to completely get rid of workers from from his his own businesses. Uh, he's against paid sick leave for workers. He's against 
uh, he was against a, uh, a regulation put forth by the Obama administration that would uh, raise the limit, the lower limit income uh, salary limit for, for salary employees, which would mean basically at a certain income rate and over, a company has the option to pay you on a straight salary as opposed to hourly. And now if you're on a if you're a salaried position, you don't get overtime. And as a, a technique that's used by a lot of companies to basically screw over low-level managers is that they would pay them just enough so that they could then switch them to to being a salaried employee. And then they didn't they could work them as hard as they want for as long as they want and not pay overtime. So he was he was absolutely against that. Uh, he his company, and that was one of the things they touted like, oh, he's a business owner, he creates jobs and all that. Well, actually, since he has taken control of CKE, the the company that owns all the or franchises out all the Hardee's and uh, Carl's Jr. things. They've actually closed 500 locations in the U.S., which, again, gets rid of jobs. Uh, it doesn't create them. He's, of course, vehemently anti-union. He has a friggin' hard-on for Ayn Rand, which it seems like every one of these people do. Um, and he also has problems in his personal life. He, for a while, for a number of years, had a undocumented worker working for him as a maid. Let's see where I get the. Uh... Uh, There's a thing that specified exactly. But anyway, he had a, uh, an undocumented worker uh, employed by him as a maid. And uh, so that was an issue. He also did not pay the taxes relating to that employee. You know, like the taxes an employer is supposed to pay when they, they have someone working for him. Uh, until after he was picked by Trump to be uh, labor secretary. And on top of all that, there's also a, a, a whole, there's also a personal shit coming out about him. That, you know, actually resurfacing sort of allegations from the, the 80s of, of spousal abuse uh, between him and his ex-wife. So, a whole laundry list of things. Why, as to, that would, that would stop him from, from getting, uh, or should, that would stop him from getting not the, the getting confirmed. But when you read the few, at least at this point, the few responses from Republicans as to why he wasn't confirmed, the undocumented worker and the spousal abuse. Both, you know, undocumented worker, it's against the law, so on and so forth. And the spousal abuse, again, he's a piece of shit, we already know that. But that's the problem that I see there, is that those are bad things and should disqualify him. But he has an entire list. I know my notes on on, on all the re, like all his anti labor practices make up a full page. None of that was mentioned by Republicans. They don't give a shit about that. It was the things that, eh, if we vote for this guy, it's going to look bad. That's what really pushed him over. So, my concern is that, basically, yeah, the next the next person that Trump picks, because he, he will have to pick someone for this role, but the next one he picks to nom- decides to, to put forward as a... As a Secretary of Labor could be every bit as bad as this guy 
but just not with the personal shit. Just not with that personal baggage. And more than likely, if that happens, eh, he's just going to get pushed right on through. Because, I mean, think about it. Even with all this, with his workers coming out against him, with he's got also, too, he's got numerous lawsuits against him and his company from his workers. Uh, the spousal abuse, the illegal uh, or the undocumented worker, the everything else, all that whole list. And they had 16 out of 52 say... Either say no or maybe. So the majority of Republicans still had no problem with him, and were fully prepared to vote him and to vote him vote yes on him and confirm him. So, again, it's good. I'm happy about it. You should be happy about it. But eh, this it's not over. So. Uh, well, that's pretty much it for now, and links to all this are going to be in the description. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.